What's going on guys? Dead back again here to bring you another video. Today I'm going to be doing my top 5 WTF moments for The Walking Dead Season 5 Episode 1 titled No Sanctuary. Now I know what you're thinking, didn't that already premiere like a month ago? Uh yeah it did, but I never got around to doing a review on 501, 503, or 504. So, excuse me, Um, I'm going to be doing a uh, top 5 uh, what the f uh, I almost said it, uh, WTF moments on those, and uh, doing that, and then I'm going to uh, delete all my other reviews, uh, 502 and 505 reviews, and uh, repost all the videos like this, so uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. You may have already noticed this guy right here, um, he is not actually that big in real life, um, he's actually quite small, it's just a random Lego figure. Uh, it's actually not random, it's Rick Grimes, but he's right up close to the camera, and I'm way back here, so he looks really big, and, yeah, just a size comparison to my hand, man, this guy is huge, but, um, yeah, so that was way off topic, but I just wanted to explain why he's there, and, uh, it's basically because I, since I don't show my face as much, oh, wait, oh yeah, there we go, since I don't show my face as much, um, I basically wanted to go ahead and put something there for you guys to look at while you listen to my voice in this uh, review video. So let's go ahead and get into it. So, number five, the revelation that the termites are cannibals. We kind of gathered this information from season, uh, the premiere, or the actual, the uh, finale of season four, actually. And the fact that where The Walking Dead was in the TV show was basically around where they were in the uh, Walking Dead comic book series, Volume 11, um, entitled Fear the Hunters. Which, for those of you who don't know, looks like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move this really quick. Uh, it basically just looks like this. Uh, the Walking Dead, it's got, and uh, there, let me move my hand, and it says, Fear the hunters. That is basically one of uh, the characters that are very similar to the termites were introduced in the comic books. And uh, yeah, so that's basically um, where they were at in the comics, and it was very close to where they were at in the show. So, um, with all that in mind, uh, it was pretty obvious that they were cannibals. I mean, we kind of all knew it by the fact that we saw human remains and people were locked in train cars. They had fresh meat on, on the grill. Like, where did they get that? That was weird. But, um, yeah, so we got the full revelation in the episode 501 uh, that they were, like, straight up cannibals. And that was pretty cool. Number four would be Tyrese and Martin. Uh, Martin is a character that was introduced in uh, The Walking Dead 501. He was basically a character that was really interesting, and he was also in the comics. I don't know if they specifically listed his name. I'm actually going through it while I uh, look at stuff here, but it was essentially... Oh, man. I... Okay, i got to find the exact one, but basically he was a character, or a similar character at least, was in the comic books, and uh, here is the page, actually. It's right about that guy standing next to Chris from the comic books right there. That guy in the hood right right there is um supposedly the same guy, same guy as Martin because the same scene with Gareth while he was talking to Bob like that there was a Martin in the hood right there. So that is supposedly Martin in Fear the Hunters. But he was a pretty cool character. He, you know, obviously threatened to kill baby Judith, which was interesting. But him and Tyrese had some interesting dialogue about, you know, surviving in this world. Have, you know, have to be willing to do, to make sacrifices. And basically, um, Tyrese just beats the crap out of this guy. Like, honestly, he just punches him in the face multiple, multiple times. And it was pretty amazing. But I really enjoyed, you know, his, um... The whole approach to how their dialogue and how Tyrese was dealing with the fact that he couldn't kill people. And obviously we know from 502 and 503, uh, he did not actually kill Martin like he told Carol that he did. Number three would be Carol and Mary. So obviously Mary is Gareth and Alex is from Terminus' uh, mother, who is, uh, we actually uh, learned that on the Talking Dead after 501. No one was, no one knew that. I don't think. It was probably a theory, but no one was never confirmed. But, um, 
She's a character that was uh, pretty interesting, but I really liked the scene that she had with Carol talking. She basically gave the full explanation for why, you know, the people at Terminus are cannibals. And I think that is a very interesting thing to do uh, with the episode, kind of to not leave it like an untold story, but to definitely, you know, you know, dive into that information a little bit more, give us some insight onto what turned them into these crazy people, because, you know, this did not do it. The only thing they said was they ran out of food. I mean, that's cool. Kirkman, you're a great writer, but, like, I don't think that, in, in an apocalypse, that's not enough reason for me to eat people, I don't think. So, that was a little bit of a writing flaw. I like how in this show, they did it because they had to do it. They didn't have a choice. You know, people came in, you know, attacked their home, threatened their families, and they had to do what they had to do. And I completely agree with that. I'm totally down with that. I don't know about the eating them, you know, afterwards, but if you're hungry enough, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I'm a sick person, but, uh, yeah, so I definitely thought that scene was very, very cool. Number two would be Carol's shitstorm on Terminus. My god, that was awesome. She just came in there and to you fireworks and boom boom, walkers everywhere. She just tore the place up. Everyone in Terminus was killed except for the uh, Gareth and a couple surviving members that later attacked the uh, church, which I will get into on my uh, next WTF uh, video. And basically it was amazing. She just was laying out people like crazy. She used... Uh, the same trick from season one, episode, I want to say two, I think it's two, might be three, but I'm pretty sure it's two, uh, titled Guts, where they cut her walker open, and one second, I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that, guys, I had some other things to take care of really fast, uh, I readjusted my lighting and the figure here, so, uh, yeah, what I was talking about, uh, Carol, Carol, yeah, Man, her attack on Terminus was definitely really great. One of the best things we've seen on The Walking Dead. Definitely, I think, probably the best premiere of The Walking Dead of any season. If you, if you, Let's look at it. You know, season one was season one, and it was the great premiere. It was the start of the series, but you can only watch that so many times. Like, I've seen it, like, ten times already, and I watched it the other day, and I'm like, I really don't want to be watching this right now, and I just turned it off. Uh, season two was... A premiere. Not a lot happened if you think about it. They lost Sophia in the woods and found, they didn't find the farm, but Carl got shot. So it was basically, you know, a kid episode of The Walking Dead. But, um, you know, season three premiere, they find the prison, which is interesting, but it was nothing as big as season five. Season four was definitely nothing. They were just at the prison, you know, showing their life. Of course, you had the big spot uh, whole scenario, which is pretty interesting. But season five was definitely the biggest premiere in terms of special effects, you know, walkers, explosions, etc. It was just a really great premiere, and I think it was definitely the best one we've had on The Walking Dead. I'll probably make a whole video on this topic about just, like, you know, best episodes of The Walking Dead ever, you know, and then I'll do, like, mathematical equations, like, ruling them out, like... So we'll see, we'll see, but um, that's definitely something that if uh, if you want to see something like that, definitely like this video, because that'll tell me that you do want to see something like that. Uh, if you don't want to see that, you know, you'll probably just like, I don't care, I'll still probably do it anyways. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's get on to the next one. Number one, my top biggest thing of the entire episode was the reunion between Baby Judith, Carl, Rick, and then the reunion between Tyrese and Sasha. You know, the reunions with everybody were really sweet, especially, you know, Judith and Rick, uh, not even Carl as much, because he's not a big part of that, but, um, Rick and Judith, you know, it was such a big thing. When Tyrese was running away, you know, cradling his arms like that, we all thought he had Judith, and it turns out he did. And we'd been waiting a half a season, you know, for to finally see Judith. And I was waiting so long for that scene. I feel like it could have been handled a little bit more. I think I wanted it to make me cry. Like, if that makes sense. Like, some things on The Walking Dead, like when Lori died and Rick, you know, cried like that, you know, it was, a lot of people thought it was funny or stupid the way he did it, but it made me cry, like, I literally, like, I cried, like, wow, that's, you know, deep, but, like, I really wanted the reunion to make me cry a little bit more, just kind of, like, 
I don't know, just something a little bit more, just a little bit different would have been really great. But other than that, it was a fantastic episode. I loved it. I'm going to give it a full 10 out of 10 for this review slash WTF moments. And uh, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. Be sure to like this video if you want to see the video I suggested earlier about uh, possibly doing the breakdown of the best episodes of The Walking Dead. Either top 10 or top 5. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, be sure to subscribe, definitely, if you want to get more videos in your uh, subscription boxes and see what I have to talk about. Uh, stay tuned for the next uh, four uh, what uh, WTF moments. I keep almost saying it, but WTF moments of The Walking Dead Season 5. And that is about it. I will see you guys later.